Younger people, the city has been holding safe summer events, and tonight was the final night of the city safe summer program. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan was there and has more on how officials hope to continue influencing children. Inspiration comes in various forms, be it a feat of athletic prowess, or more simply put, Buckets. a stand against violence. This is our last night of the summer. Stop the bomb for me! It's always sad. After today, Indy's safe summer program comes to a close. It's 10 weeks of games and basketball tournaments. We have data that we look at and we say, where can we do this? Bethel Park, Douglas Park, and Municipal Gardens. Three areas where the kids may not have access to these services. Three neighborhoods that see violence. Combined, they have 10 of Indy's homicides this year. It's been like a holistic way to get to kids that no one else can really get to. Shauna Majors is Indy's Director of Community Violence Reduction. It just warms my heart to be here for something positive like that. Due to COVID this year, students were left to study at home. Had a lot of social media time. Some violence reduction programs couldn't make it into schools. People could get on social media, start social media beefs, um, and then act on it. Justin Reed is a community research coordinator with the Office of Public Health and Safety. I love when we get athletes who come to our safe summer. He calls them perfect role models. Well, we had three of our basketball players that played here in the league this summer are going on to college. <laughs> Day, all three were honored. There was a hush and a and then a clap over the room. As the program presented each with a laptop for school. The kids are seeing that when you do good, there's rewards that, that come to you. Hopefully others see that and say, I want to be like them. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.